Hey, you guys think you know which way it's going to go? Yeah. Always. Well, you should head on and over to Sports Interaction, whatever sport. Sports Interaction has you covered pregame, live and betting, and all major sports. And, of course, your prop bets. If you want to bet, where do you go, guys? Sports Interaction. Sport, SportsInteraction.com slash SDPN. Come on. 19 plus, please play responsibly. Guys, you know, I, I think uh, um, uh, going into uh, the holidays here, um, I'm kind of trying to figure out because I don't want to, I don't want to go too much into predictions because we do a little bit of that in the holidays. But can I, can I ask you what your surprises were? Um, what your surprises have been so far this year? Like what storylines, uh, good or otherwise, have blown you away? Players, good or otherwise, teams. What's what's really got your attention? Um, Eric Carlson randomly deciding to put up the best offensive season of his career. At, at least two or three years after he was officially cooked is wild to me wild like he he wasn't able to do this in his prime and he's somehow able to do it on what to the best of our knowledge is essentially one leg like i i, I don't know how he's how he's been able to do this and maintain it hmm. jesse what about you we we make fun of you, Adam Wilde, for your love of of the Devils. But how hot the Devils are! I never thought they'd get goaltend. Just getting goaltending would spark At this all. team in this way. <laughs> you know, especially when they started the year in that first week of the season when the crowd was chanting "Fire Lindy." I thought it was like, okay, the Devils haven't changed. This has been the same thing for four years. They don't have goaltending. Um, the offense can't make up for it. The defense isn't really there. And they need a complete change here. And we don't know if Jack Hughes is ever going to amount to anything. We don't know what the defense is going to be. And then all of a sudden, they go on this ridiculous winning streak. And they're one of the best teams in the National Hockey League. I, I didn't expect this from the Devils at all. And I'm pleasantly surprised for all the fans out there, including you, Adam. Uh, Rasmus Dallin and Tage Thompson for me. I cannot mm. believe what those guys are. are they're dragging the Sabres towards the playoff spot right now. Um, not that the Sabres are that bad. But they didn't. I didn't see this year, guys, as as the year that they'd be challenging for a playoff spot. And maybe they don't make it. But you know, when Tage Thompson was signed to that extension, I think people, myself included, were rightly like, "Okay, he had that one good year, and yes, he was dominant." But we've seen plenty of guys have one good year, get a big contract, and it'd be a, me a mess. Um, Tage Thompson looks like he's getting better. He's scary with what he can do with the the, the size that of, of his body and the fact that he's able to. I mean, there's times where I'm like, is that Sidney Crosby bodying people out or is that Tage Thompson bodying people out? The way he moves, he's very quick with his hands and he's fucking huge, man. He's huge. What some, do you of us, do? some of us have been on the Tage Thompson band. I know. And I gave know you him were. our most were. underrated player of 2022 award last season. If we're talking about awards. You were right. I was, mm -hmm. I was on Nailed the it. Tage bandwagon. You know, uh, some, I think Tage Thompson is a unicorn. But uh, we need to stop thinking every top five pick that is not a heart contender immediately is Nail Yakupov uh, because Rasmus Dahlin was the first overall pick and then he got good and we all acted surprised. I think we're wrong for that. And um, it's a cautionary tale for the likes of Alexi Lafreniere and Capocacco as well. Capocacco, by the way, one of the hottest players on the entire Rangers. Uh, yeah. right now. So we need to stop writing off players with elite resumes um, when they're essentially children and then acting surprised when they're superstar adults. It's kind of fun, though, isn't it? <laughs> can, we, <laughs> sure. uh, can I also add to the biggest surprises is sure. I want to shout out the core of the Winnipeg Jets in yeah. Shifley yeah. and Wheeler. Like yep. uh, coming to words do stripping the captaincy, all the all the drama during the summer. We thought everybody was gonna be traded and they're gonna yep. be left with nobody and Connor Hellebuck. Uh PLD complaining, having that um yep. that, that interview where he trashed the team and he wanted Forgot to go to Montreal. That. Like that was a all about that. And now they're yep. a top ten team. They look great. I think they're second in the division, they're top three in the West, and Shifley and Wheeler have just been playing their game, playing well. Yeah. And to to be as good as they've been without Ehlers, who I think is mm -hmm. such a key part of that team. Yeah, really impressive, man. Josh Morrissey, mm -hmm. I don't think we mentioned. Unreal. Having a mm -hmm. Norris caliber yeah. season. 
Yeah. <laughs> I, right didn't, I didn't think we'd see that. I didn't know he had that in him. Well, what do they call it? Norrissey? Josh Norrissey now? They should. <laughs> they should. Why it's not? It's a good nickname. I like it. Love yeah. Uh, I, I, you know, I'm not, I can't tell you that I'm surprised that uh, Connor Hellebuck's good, but wow, is he ever good.